Welcome back. So today, I'm going to be taking a look at a couple of the uh, models that I made last night. I was trying to make some race cars for a skid racing track, um, but we'll get into that. Basically, uh, let's go down the line. I made a whole bunch of new, um, new models to finish. At the very end of the line, and don't miss the tire in the right, at the very end of the line we've got the tri tricopter or tri shroom, and this will be well, it's just a little uh, little landing little landing craft. It's got plex door legs and uh, three sort of three helicopter blades, which is pretty cool. The model uh, will be quoted. I didn't make it; it's a Smedit, so straight from 3D Warehouse. And then over here, what have I got? I've got like a canard wing style spaceship. Um, this is an experimental design, which I took again from all these is from 3D Warehouse. So like I say, I've done a smed it with uh, pure black for both wings, part of the tail, and then I've used the ombre feature to get a nice black to white fade on the fuselage, which is pretty cool. Again, checking out that suspension. Uh, and here's the tri shroom. The reason I had to go down to that one was if you can see there's a hole in the tire. When I spawned the monster truck, it kind of exploded the uh, other ship off the line. So this is based on the Toyota. For the skid races, I didn't want to use wedges and corners. I just wanted to keep the blocky sort of look. Um, so yeah, I didn't use the wedges and corners. And the idea is to fit in the insides with just enough thrust and power to get it moving theoretically so it would actually run out of power if you put the throttle down for too long uh, this one is the Porsche uh, 956 Le Mans car uh, this yellow one is also um, from the well it's an old race car basically um, I thought it looked kind of cool with the wheels sticking out you know because the Porsche lost a lot of detail with it being so aerodynamic um, and and then lastly, we've got like a sort of Indy 500 style, but I think it's actually based off of a Dodge Viper. I wasn't really sure. It could have been, um, I don't know, it's a GT, GT4 or I think, or GT3, so it's more of a touring car. Uh, this one here is the Yamato Battleship or Ma Yamato Flying Fortress. So basically, it's a theoretical flying fortress, should Japan have actually made one. Um, all those, all the props on the back of the wing are pushers, and the two on the tail are pull props. So uh, again, I did the green wings, tried to do the underside, you know, blending in that green to white ombre on the fuselage. And then this ship is uh, another sort of black ops experimental ship, but the difference with this one is I've actually built it on a on an angle, so it's mostly made from wedges, and those wedges are. Uh, pretty, you know, it gives you a nice sort of effect on the shape anyway. That's the VW Jetta because I needed another car. Um, and then finally there's my monster truck. And the monster truck is the same model as the giant one, only I've made a skid racer version. So obviously you've got to put your power and your thrusters inside, but that's it. Um, and so lastly, I get to take a look at the explosive monster truck of Doom which is 500 long or high or wide. I don't know which one is the max dimension. I'm assuming that the max dimension is length, so it should be 500 long. You don't want to crash into it because it's made up of explosives. The way I've got the effect, like the sheen of the texture, is uh, by leaving the gray wedges and wedge corners. So just coming out of the, uh, out of the bed liner. And there we go, roll bar, <laughs> the, the roll bar of destiny, don't want to clip that, you don't want to get in the way of this truck, um, it's, it's explosive, so yeah, that's pretty much it, I'm going to leave you with some fin closing shots, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, which will be a speed build of, ah yes, speed eating we're going to be eating a planet we're going to make it nice and flat so i'm going to get my world harvester and i'm going to do that so can't wait to see you in the next one guys see you soon
so yeah that went on for a lot longer than i thought it would thanks again for watching i'm just going to take my planet harvester off to this planet here so uh see you soon That view. I'd play with that view. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I've killed someone, finally. First thing I tried to build was my surfboard, <laughs> and obviously that doesn't really work. You have to get in the cockpit. And release the docking cannons. <laughs> <laughs> free look, a zoom, and the character will sort of pin, so as you can see I'm rotating like that. Uh, normal movement controls, same as if you're running about. So, uh, guns don't actually fire yet, so, and also large ships can only have the, um, oh no! Right, press X, zoom, zoom. Right, a, burn a little bit longer towards the blue thing. 2019, 1650. that kills everyone. True. <laughs> Other than that, I'm at a bit of a loss. But Can anyway, we're here. Pure amazing, Phantas Longhorn and Seron 16 play. <laughs> Bot survival.